Welcome to Gay Fairfax, the national capital area's only weekly gay entertainment magazine sharing news, views, and pride. I'm Barry Forbes. And I'm Beth Goodman. Each week we'll feature personalities and events of interest to the gay women and men of Fairfax County. On this edition, we'll talk to members of the Sexual Minority Youth Assistance League, or SMILE, about how this group has helped young teenagers cope with being both young and gay. And we invite you to join us as we enjoy the inspirational music of Witness. But first, here's Peg McCraw with this week's Gay Trivia Question. What president of the United States was rumored to have had a homosexual affair with a member of Congress? Thank you, Peg. When you're a teenager and gay, you sometimes feel all alone in a hostile world. The Sexual Minority Youth Assistance League, or SMILE, was founded to help young people understand their sexuality and cope with a world that is often hostile to gays. Karen Brown recently spoke with a group from SMILE after a recent bicycle trip that was sponsored by the group. For some young adults, finding out that they are attracted to members of their own sex causes confusion and anxiety. For 200 area youths, the Sexual Minority Youth Assistance League, SMILE, provides the support and resources needed to face the challenges of being gay in a predominantly straight society. We caught up with several people involved in the group after a fundraising bike-a-thon. SMILE's general coordinator, Julie Morrissey, talk to us about the group's purpose and some of its activities. The youth we deal with are 14 to 21 years of age and we provide outreach services to the youth in the form of a youth group which meets every Saturday and a helpline which is a telephone referral and information service which is staffed a few times a week by adults and, and youth trained by SMILE. In addition to that, SMILE does a fair amount of